Hi there! Thanks for stopping by. My name is Daria and I make do-it-yourself tutorials. In today's video I will take you step by step through the process of making this pixel macrame wall hanging. For this project I came up with a very minimal geometric design. I am going to use 4mm single twist cotton cord in 4 colors. On this slide you can see a breakdown of how much cord of each color you will need. Throughout the video I am going to give you detailed cord measurements for each of the three shapes in the design. As for the background color, you can cut cords of the length that is comfortable for you to work with and then simply attach a new piece every time you run out of cord. Later in the video I am going to show you how you can do that. I start by cutting 21 base cords. Next I attach my cords to this wooden triangle shape, but you can use a regular wooden dowel instead. After all base cords are attached, I hang up my project so that it's easier to work with. Next we are going to make horizontal rows. I will explain the first rows more in detail and then speed up the rest of the rows. I start by cutting a piece of cord of my background color. I make the first double half hitch knot. This creates my first loose end that I'm going to hide right away. As I make my second knot, I do not tighten it right away. I make half a hitch knot and then I make the second loop. But before I tighten up the second half of my knot, I take the loose end from the first knot and pull it through this loop. I hold it a bit so that it doesn't run away and tighten up my knot. In this way my loose end is secured. I am going to repeat that with one more knot. I make the first loop. Then I make the second one. I find my loose end and put it through this loop. Then I tighten up the knot. Generally I secure each loose end with two knots. So now I can continue making regular double half hitch knots. I'm going to get to the end of the row and show you how to change the direction in which you are knotting. Once I get to the end of the row, I make the last double half hitch knot. I then pull the working cord to the left side so that it goes below the base cord and continue. 
continue making the double half hitch knots in the opposite direction. The rest of the row will be regular double half hitch knots in the background color. I ran out of my main working cord, so I'm going to show you how to attach a new piece. Take your working cord and do half a hitch knot. Make another half knot, but before you tighten it up, take a new piece of cord. Place one of its ends into the loop. The longer tail should face in the direction in which you are knotting. Now you can tighten up the knot. Make another half knot with the old working cord. Next, take the new working cord and place it over the old one. Make the loop with the old working cord. If you did it correct, the new working cord should be going through the loop created with the old working cord. Tighten up the knot. On the third knot, take the new working cord and make half a knot. Next, find your old working cord and place it over the new one. Make a loop with the new working cord. Check that the end of the old working cord is going through the loop created with the new working cord and tighten up the knot. If it's hard for you to follow these steps, I recommend you watch my tutorial on how to change colors when making macrame wall hangings. I will leave the link to this tutorial in the description below. Repeat the same steps with one more knot. Place the old working cord over the new one and then make a loop with a new cord. These steps help to secure both old and new working cord and after you are done with your hanging you can simply cut off all the remaining ends at the back of your tapestry. Next, I make three double half hitch knots with the new cord. In this row, we will need to make a few knots with a new color. In the top right corner of the screen, you will always see the measurement for the cord of a new color. 
please note that these numbers refer not to one knot, but to the whole chain of knots with a new color. In this row, to make three grey knots, I will need a cord which is 31 cm long. I always start attaching a cord of a new color two knots in advance. The steps will be very similar to extending your working cord. Make half a hitch knot with your working cord. Next, make a second loop. Before you tighten it up, take a piece of new cord and place it into the loop. The longer tail should look in the knotting direction. Repeat the steps with one more knot. Make half a hitch knot with the working cord. Take the new cord and place it over your working cord. Make a loop with your working cord. Make sure that the cord of new color goes through this loop. Tighten up the knot. With the next three knots, we are going to repeat the steps, except that we are going to switch colors. The greyish color will become our main working cord and the blue color will run through all grey knots. First, make half a loop with the grey cord. Next, place your blue cord over the grey cord. Make a loop with the grey cord and tighten up the knot. With the next two knots, we are going to repeat the steps. Once the three grey knots are done, we switch the cords again. Make half a loop with the blue cord. Place your grey cord over the blue cord and make a loop with the blue cord. Tighten up the knot. Repeat the same steps for one more knot. Remember that it takes two knots to secure each loose end. Now the grey cord is secured and you can continue knotting regular double half hitch knots with the blue color. The next two rows are going to be exactly the same as row number three.
once again I make half a knot with the blue cord. Next I make another half a knot and before I tighten it up I take a piece of new cord and place one end into this loop. The longer tail faces the knotting direction. This time I'm going from right to left so my longer tail is on the left side. I then tighten up the knot. I again make half a hitch knot with the blue cord. Then I position the grey cord over the blue one and make a loop with the blue cord. With the next three knots I switch my cords. Once I'm done with the grey knots, I switch cords back. And I make one more row exactly like that.
The next two rows are going to be plain blue color. Now I'm starting my row number 8 and I'm going to make two regular double half hitch knots with my main color. Now it's time to attach a new color as we are beginning to knot the yellow shape. As you can see, I do the same steps as back when we were switching between blue and grey colors. Don't forget to secure the loose ends of your cord every time you attach a new piece or switch to another color. And now, since I need to make 13 yellow knots, it doesn't really make sense to let the blue cord run through all of them. Because I can save around 10 centimeters of blue cord for later. So I'm going to cut it off now and attach it again at the end of the yellow row. I continue knotting regular double half hitch knots with the yellow cord. before I need to switch back to blue color, I attach my blue cord again. Most of the remaining rows in this shape will be done in a similar way.
The next three rows will be exactly the same, so I'm going to speed them up a bit. In the next row we will decrease the number of yellow knots by 2. Row number 13 will be exactly the same. In the following row we will need to make only 9 yellow knots. The last row of this shape will include 5 yellow knots. The second shape of the design is done and the next two rows will be plain blue color. In the next row we will start the pink shape. Row 18 contains 5 pink knots.
next row we need to add two pink knots on each side of the shape. In row 20 we need to make 11 pink knots. we increase the number of pink knots by two. the same except that we need to make three blue knots in the middle of the shape. You can do it in two different ways. You can either carry the blue cord through all pink knots or you can attach a new piece of blue cord in the middle of the shape. I am going to show you both ways.
In this row, since my blue cord is already quite short, I'm going to attach a new piece inside the pink shape. You can cut a longer piece of blue cord, make three knots, then cut it off and reuse it later when you need it again. In my case, this piece of blue cord was just enough for three knots, so I attach a new piece of cord at the end of pink shape.
In row number 23, I carry the blue chord through all pink knots. Remember that in places where you make blue knots, the pink chord should go through this knot, so that you can later continue knotting with the pink chord. The next row is very similar to the previous one, except the blue knots are located in different places. Rows 25 and 26 are the same as row 24. To finish off this hanging we need to make another two blue rows, but since I ran out of cord I only make one instead. You can now flip your wall hanging and cut off all the cords at the back of your tapestry. You 
can either leave the bass chords as they are or make tassels by connecting a few chords together with a gathering knot. And that was it for this minimal pixel macrame wall hanging. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you tried to make one yourself and how that went. Feel free to tag me on Instagram if you want to share your creation there. As always, if you have some questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer all of them. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.